Home is about place. You're placing yourself in this world. And whether you landed in a place by chance or you worked really hard to be there, now it's your home and it partly defines you. And there's something very special about that. I've had times in my life when my stuff has run away with itself, when I've accumulated so much that my belongings have stopped reflecting anything about me. Now I put effort into being just a bit more intentional about my space, thinking about the design, how it makes me feel when I'm in this space, and filling it with belongings that either mean something to me or have a real purpose. I really enjoy the process of creating a cozy, comfortable home, a place where Andy and I just enjoy being in the moment. It's really turned into a bit of a hobby for me. I've gotten a lot of requests for a home tour, so I thought I would finally do it, but I do want to acknowledge that I am still in this decluttering process. I'm still on my minimalism journey, but for me, it's about trying to cultivate a space in my home where I feel comfortable and where I'm continuing to put energy into the things in life that matter more to me. So I guess with that in mind, let me show you around. My favorite room is the living room. I love the fireplace and above it hangs a beautiful painting or so it seems. It's actually a TV. Andy and I love watching movies, so it's really nice to be able to do that in our main living area without having the focal point of the room be a big black box. Most of the time, it just looks like a painting and most people who've dropped by actually think it's just a piece of art. Then there's the dining room. We spend a lot of time here, sharing a meal, playing board games, having conversation, and sometimes I'll even do some work here. But I think it's a lot of the small design details that make it an enjoyable place to be. We've got two very bulky speakers, but we got them for free, secondhand from a friend. I've realized that having good sound quality when listening to music makes everything just feel more elevated. It's an easy way to make a space feel more luxurious or enjoyable to be in. And then above the speakers is my favorite painting in the house. My mother-in-law actually gave it to us and she asked the artist to add some blue, which I think really adds something to the piece. My mom made this wreath four years ago. I was trying on my wedding dress and she made it quickly from flowers in her garden for me to wear. I've kept it ever since. And then in the kitchen, I really like the warmth of the countertops and the light colored cupboards. It's not the biggest kitchen, especially since the dishwasher and oven take up a lot of the storage space, but it's helped me keep the kitchen minimal and at least mostly organized. Since there's limited counter space, it's nice that there's a wooden flap that I can easily pull up when I need more space for cooking. It's quick and easy, and then I put it down when I'm not using it. I love finding smart ways like this to maximize use of a space. I also kind of like that everything's close together so that I don't have to even move much to grab something from the cupboards or the fridge. Going toward the back of the house, you come upon the first floor bath. I love the historic feel to this room. The floors are marble, I like the green theme that jives well with the plants in our house. Moving to the back room of the house, you'll find the office space that Andy and I both use. This is where I work most weekdays and I use this monitor that we purchased secondhand online. The Behind the desk is our bookcase, filled with many of our favorite books. There's nothing in this world is ours. On the other side of the room is our guest bedroom space. We're able to fit a king-size bed and I chose to use simple light bedding. I want the space to feel serene and relaxing for guests. We're gonna find our way. All I had was you. Ooh. Then moving upstairs, there's a little area of space at the top of the stairwell. Was you. 
This first room on the second floor is, I think, intended to be a bedroom, and it may turn into that someday. But for now, I tend to shoot my YouTube videos here. But it's just a nice space for writing, planning, reading, and thinking. There was light somewhere down the road. Hard times will not dim our soul. Then moving across the way, you'll find our bedroom. Again, I decided to use simple, light bedding. The only thing I had was everything When all I had was you We have two dressers, one for each of us. It might be more than we absolutely need, but it's nicer fitting the bulky clothes and sweaters of Minnesota winters. In the back corner, we have our closet space and our bathroom, which is pretty small. We do often find ourselves bumping into each other, but it does the job. With all our bedding and curtains, I tend to use simple linen, white or off-white pieces. And then down in the basement, we've turned this room into this awesome, comfy movie watching spot with a huge couch. We love spending time down here. Like I said, we love movies. And then a basement bathroom, a back niche that's pretty empty for now, and our washer and dryer space. Now, I want to acknowledge this house definitely has more space than we need, but we wanted a home that we could eventually grow into as a family and a space where we could potentially stay for a really long time. I love being in the heart of Minneapolis, where there's always something happening and we can walk to restaurants, bookshops, and coffee shops. There's nothing like swimming in fresh water in the summer and walking on the lake's ice in wintertime. If you'd like to see what our home looked like when it was empty and we first moved in, you can check out the link in the description box below, along with links to several other house details. Thanks so much for spending this little bit of time with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. When all I was you.